Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. So the cards that just kind of popped out was the Fool, the Sun card, the Knight of Wands, everything is fine, and the Knight of Swords. Whatever cards flip out like that, I will take them. So the Fool and the Sun. So it's like you're taking a leap of faith into some type of brand new beginning that seems to be positive. It's going to bring you wish fulfillment. Now you have two different Knights here. You have the Knight of Wands and you have the Knight of Swords. This could be representative of your energy and someone else's energy, or you have more than one person coming towards you, or there's a person as well as an opportunity, but the Knights usually is going to be people. You have um, a few different energies coming towards you. One is very um, passionate, the Knight of Wands. Um, that's a very passionate, optimistic, fast moving type of energy it can be hit hot and cold it could be somewhat of a sexual energy but you have here everything is fine and then you have the knight of swords so the knight of swords is someone who is looking at a situation um i always say like at face value someone is definitely looking at moving in towards you after careful consideration because they're making a decision based off of something mental okay so let's see what this is all about or this could be you you could be one of these energies but um someone is definitely taking a leap of faith here with the the sun it looks like something is going to bring you happiness okay the queen of swords is in the reverse okay all right so queen of swords in the reverse hmm I feel like somebody is about to kind of let loose. Maybe it's time for you to let your guard down. Now, the Queen of Swords in the reverse can definitely speak of a person who could be cold, very like rigid, a little bit mean, to be honest. <laughs> um, the type of person who will be for sure like mentally manipulative in some way. Let me see. The Four of Pentacles and the Devil. Hmm. There, is, I don't want there to be any chaos, but okay, the Seven of Cups is here in the moon. So, Seven of Cups out here in the moon, there's no more illusions about a situation. Just period. The secret is out. There's no illusions here. This is a situation from the past that has had someone a bit confused. And p being very defensive, being protective, guarded, not willing to move forward here, possibly unable to accept some type of offer. But that's ending here. The Page of Cups is here. The Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. What in the world is going on? Jeez. It's like Pandora's box is open. The cat is out the bag. All of the skeletons are out. It's over. It's done. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands out here. So something here is just brand new. That's just it. And you have the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. There's this, this energy of doubles. You have two pages here and you have two knights. The Tower is here. The Five of Pentacles. Someone here is about to have some type of breakthrough. I don't know, like, what is this? The Tower, the Five of Pentacles, the world, this energy of being out in the cold, um, needing help, this is finally coming to an end, but the Six of Swords is in the reverse. The Six of Swords... I feel like if you've had issues with moving on, that's over because the justice card is here. So everything is being balanced out to work in your favor. 
just like 100%. There is some kind of energy here that's been causing chaos or conflict or somebody sent some type of energy to you, your home, your vehicle, your finances, your love life. Yeah, somebody sent an energy and ten of swords and the devil to try and hurt you, to betray you, to have you in some type of stuck, stagnant energy. Somebody wanted you to miss an opportunity. I'm hearing somebody wanted you to possibly go through like a foreclosure of a home or to lose something. Somebody wanted you to have financial ruin i specifically heard foreclosure some of you due to a situation you could be facing a foreclosure um or or something with a, a rental property or your rent there de definitely could have been some type of financial burden or something here okay this could have been done because someone has been bullying you or making it difficult you could have went through a situation where you lost a job whatever this is that you've lost though i do feel like um it was due to someone doing something behind the scenes that was very low vibrational very mean out of spite okay but the moon is here with the seven of cups so whatever it is it's like again it's like the cat is out the bag like somebody here is being caught red-handed for something that they've done okay now we do have this um pisces and full the pisces full moon is gonna be here in the next like three days okay so if someone has been doing anything moon magic or playing around something is backfiring but this is definitely a situation where somebody wanted a person to be out in the cold and to lose something. Somebody wanted you to lose something when it comes to your your stability and your security. The tower, this is some it's a structure. Somebody definitely put sent out some type of energy or they sent an energy to your home. Okay? And they wanted, um, somebody could have sent some type of negative energy to your home where they wanted you to feel like you were being um lied to betrayed abandoned rejected so that it will be easier to perhaps attack you in some kind of way but this situation whatever it is it's over and with the six of swords being here in the reverse the eight of cups it's something out here about travel somebody could have tried to like astral travel or project into your energy or your home or something like that they weren't successful at being able to do this the seven of cups in the reverse mm-hmm -mm. It's like an illusion here is over. And with the moon being in the reverse, that means that, again, it's a, a truth is being revealed. Somebody could have received a message in their dream. Some of you, somebody tried to astral travel or project into like your dreams or your actual space or something like that. It's something for sure about a structure like your home or something. Somebody could have, I'm seeing what somebody could have looked up your address or something like that. So I was saying foreclosure, foreclosures, um, stuff like that. I think that that's possibly like public record. I'm literally getting where somebody could have gone to try and access some public records to find out what your address was. They were trying to either come to your home, send something or someone to your home, or this person has been trying to astral travel or project into your home possibly your dreams or something it's something whatever it is it's too much and whatever it, and it backfired because the seven of cups in the reverse and the moon in the reverse and then you have here the seven of wands it's like you're protected from whoever this person is this could be someone i just heard um i just heard the word psychosis so for some of you you have a person yeah <laughs> Look at this fool card. Somebody keeps trying to take a leap of faith to travel towards you. This could be someone with the world card too. They're watching you on the world wide web. They're watching you on online. Someone is stuck on you. The hangman is in the reverse. They're stuck on you. Somebody also could be watching your business very closely or your finances. Mm. This is some type of stalker like situation. And, and the things that I'm picking up that this person is doing with like astral traveling and all of that, this person could be spiritual. This could be a practitioner of some sort or something like that because they're, they're doing a lot. Like this person is stalking, but they're spiritually spying and stalking you as well. One second. 
I'm trying to figure out, um, I'm not trying to figure out anything, but wait one second, you guys. I need a piece of paper. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Yeah, um, somebody, some, somebody is using public records, some type of data or information to find out a person's like physical location, their address to send in some type of energy. That's why it's important for you to stay balanced. So whatever someone tries to do as far as trying to sacrifice you or to have you in limbo because the hangman is in the reverse, by you remaining um, very controlled and doing something in moderation, being very balanced, I don't think that it's able to work. Someone is trying to get the energy of a divine feminine here. Will of Fortune is in the reverse, but it's not happening. Yeah, somebody is trying to hold on to a divine feminist energy or someone um, with this page of pinnacle. I just feel like somebody is possibly struggling financially. It feels like somebody is struggling financially though, because of something that they've done to you. Something has backfired and it's hitting someone's finances. I don't know if this person is sending some type of bad juju to you out of anger because something backfired or, or what? Um, I doubt it's the first time this person has tried something like this, but the hangman is in the reverse. The wheel of fortune is in the reverse. Th this is somebody really wanting you to just be stuck, unable to move, but you have the temperance out here and the divine feminine, the empress. This divine feminine is entirely too, um, too balanced and too stable for this situation to, to happen. You're, you're very protected, whoever you are, if you are in this divine feminine or masculine energy, temperance energy, like somebody is trying to disrupt your peace and your harmony somehow. The moon card, this could be a cancer person. It doesn't have to be, but look at this. You have, there's so much darkness around this situation and it has a lot to do with your business or your energy or your home, your security stability with the pentacles you have the moon the tower the page of swords and the death card so once again somebody is sending out some type of monitoring spirit um dark magic they're astral traveling or projecting somebody is trying to get a closer look into your life and this has been stopped somebody has been stopped in their tracks it, it feels like somebody is trying to send the energy possibly of even death towards somebody here this queen of swords before we have the queen of swords in the reverse. So like I said, there's two different knights out here and spirit is saying everything is fine. So some of you, you're either this knight of wands or you have a knight of wands energy coming towards you. Someone who is just passionate about coming towards you, or this is you. It's a free spirited person who wants to travel towards you. But in the background, you also have this queen of swords in the reverse. that's sending something out. And I'm saying sending out because I don't feel like this person is coming towards you themselves. This person is sending some type of energy out towards you to get a closer look. So somebody is um, sending out some type of monitoring spirit, an entity or something like that. Somebody is working with some type of dark spirit to gather information. Yeah, this person is sending something out. They're sending death towards you because they they want something to watch you and to monitor you to see whether or not you're actually crumbling, you're falling, you're failing. But no, that's not what's happening. This is going back towards this person. Some of you, I feel like you don't even notice that this is happening. So somebody's magic or whatever that they're throwing at you, it's it's really weak because you're so balanced and stable. Page of Wands. Yeah, this is someone real that's very childish. So we're definitely talking about this Knight of Swords. And then the Knight of Swords is here with the Lovers and the King of Swords, the Chariot. There's a Cancer out here for sure. But the Knight of Swords here, the Lovers, it's like somebody... 
This could be a lover that you were with or the lover of someone else that you could be connected to. But whatever this is that's coming at you, attacking your soul purpose or even your divine contracts in love, you're protected. King, the King of Swords is here ensuring that you move forward without any interruptions. If somebody is keeping a close eye on your wish fulfillment and they're doing magic and they're upset that it's not working. Once again, here's the Queen of Pentacles. Someone here is really secure and stable and you have this energy this could be a masculine doing this it doesn't have to be now keep in mind a masculine could be a male or female but this could be um a man something is happening though where someone is being purged out of your energy i feel and they're upset about this the king of cups and then the emperor but see the emperor is here with this knight of wands like i said you have a knight of wands that's going passionately towards this free spirited person who's taking a leap of faith so you do have most likely someone that's coming towards you with a solid offer now that you've gotten out of some type of karmic situation but you have somebody that keeps on coming towards you now this queen of swords and knight of swords could be a couple okay um it definitely may be two people here though a man and a woman They could be into like some kind of spell work, but see again, the, the sun is here. There's, there's a very high vibrational person here. Either this is you or someone that you're dealing with that they're not, um, I'm not going to, I'll never say that there is the magic or whatever has no effect, but somebody is not getting the outcome that they want and trying to spiritually attack you. I'll say that. You have a very angry, bitter person out here. This person could be spreading some kind of lie to you about you to um, a another like a masculine energy. Somebody could have told a lie to a masculine and convinced this masculine to go and attack a divine feminine. This doesn't have to be a couple, but there definitely seems to be like a karmic feminine energy out here that has possibly told either someone or they are using some type of dark spirit to attack this divine feminine energy. But this, you're like in some type of bubble or protection where it's not affecting you. But what has happened now is the secret is out that someone has been doing this to you. And I feel like now your angels, your guides, your ancestors, your spiritual team, they're protecting you. You don't even see this person coming and you don't have to lift a finger to do anything because you've already received some type of divine gift or inheritance that will alert you of when this is happening. Your focus right now is on all things new. Or that's the, that's the message Like your spirit team is like, yeah, don't worry about this. It's already handled. It's already taken care of there this is like nail in the coffin energy justice has already been called on the situation and there is someone new that's coming in the knight of cups page of cups yeah the knight of cups and the page of cups somebody is coming in with an offer this is already in motion and i feel like this is someone who is reliable they're trustworthy it's a possibly like a divine mask and someone who they have their life very much together or they're working on it, a well-respected type of person. And this person is passionate about coming towards you because here you have the Knight of Wands. They're looking right at the sun and the Fool card. Somebody, they already see you. They're coming towards you. You've closed out a cycle with someone though. So they, someone has decided to spiritually attack you or pay somebody to do it or whatever, but... It doesn't matter. Yeah, someone here is upset that they can't get in your energy or they can't come to your home or you won't meet them. You won't talk to them. Somebody is just upset about the fact that they don't have access to you. Yeah, you're entirely too, too divine, too high ranking for whatever this is. The Empress and the Sun. Some of you too, somebody, um, this is specific and it, it definitely won't resonate with everyone because everyone isn't of a childbearing age. Somebody is upset also that you could possibly either be with child 
or you're about to go into a cycle where you will eventually be having a child with somebody it seems like somebody could possibly be upset because they lost an opportunity to have a child with you yeah you have the king of wands here and the king of pentacles somebody is upset oh yeah this is this is some kind of love triangle the king of wands is looking at this king of pentacles somebody is up for sure upset because someone here keeps trying to take action towards you this person can't get next to you because you're already going towards a new connection so this person did magic this person did some kind of moon magic or death magic fortunately though you being this free spirited person this um pisces full moon you're able to see that something was done or your angels guys and ancestors saw it you have someone here that um is protecting you they're fully awakened so even if you don't see something your spiritual team can see it they already saw that there was some type of attack coming towards you and they called justice on this situation they gave you some type of strength to see that something was not good and you needed to close out a cycle heavy heavy leo out here and libra i have queen of wands and the um strength card twice but fortunately this queen of wands this could be your energy as well it's like right now you're in this energy of being very confident also this queen of wands to me it's like this is some type of self-mastery even as a queen of wands as a manifester or whatever you've mastered like inner strength so somebody keeps trying to get a look at you and come towards you but or spiritually attack you or send some type of entity or whatever towards you but it's like you're constantly calling justice on this situation and then you have the sun and the queen of wands so again there could for sure be a there's a whole lot of fire energy out here you have the queen of wands twice you and someone both could have fire in your chart it doesn't have to be that way but look you have the queen of wands here and the strength card you have the queen of wands here and the strength card somebody thought that you were going to be weak it's like somebody thought that your confidence was it was fake it was phony that um i guess they assumed that you're not who you say you are and they decided to come and get a close look it's something here with some type of monitoring spirit but see, again, you're constantly getting justice in whatever this situation is. And I feel like there's also someone that is protecting you with this sun energy. The tower. You have somebody that's protecting you. They're ensuring that your foundation doesn't crumble. Mm -hmm. knight of pentacles knight of pentacles it's i don't know why everything is doubling and then yeah look the page of cups somebody they're they're shocked like why isn't something happening you're too protected king of swords Archangel Michael, you're a high priestess. You're being like. Look at that. Yeah. This energy was caught. This person, this energy, entity, whatever, it was caught. Somebody's like spiritual team just pulled up on somebody and was like, no. No. It's not happening. King of Cups and the Hierophant these cards came out like this though so you have somebody out here um king of cups and a hierophant someone out here loves you whether they're in your life now or not somebody loves you the king of cups and the hierophant this is someone who they love you they are noble they're emotionally intelligent They've been through with the Hierophant is to me is always someone who has some type of testimony. This person has already been through some things in life. They know the truth. So even if someone tries to cast an illusion over you, 
you have someone that keeps on stepping up in your energy, catching whatever type of bad energy is being sent to you. There definitely could be a man and a woman both, though. King of Pentacles and this Queen. So this is two very low vibrational people that just keep trying to send some type of weird energy out to you. And it seems like every time they send it, they're being caught. Yeah, this is over. Whatever this plan or plot is that these individuals have, it's over. And check this out. Yeah, I don't, I really don't know how to interpret this message. The way those Queen of Wands came out. Now we used to have the King of Cups here with the Hierophant. Now we have the Queen of Cups here with the Hierophant. Somebody just didn't know who they were dealing with. I don't know, like, I don't know if this is a couple or do you have a lover that is competing with you or an ex-lover? Look at that. The Hierophant and the King of Cups, the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. This Hierophant, though, is not high vibrational. According to what the card meaning would say, when I look at this, though, I feel like <laughs> I feel like the way I'm seeing what I'm getting into this is right now, just looking at the cards, it's like God or someone that is highly ranked spiritually is just like, are you really coming after this Queen of Cups again? Although you've seen that you have been defeated each and every time you've done it, like, are you really doing this again? Because somebody here, you're actually, someone is praying for you. They adore you. They love you. They care about you. And, and there's just an energy that's like, really, are we doing this? Again? Like, seriously, are we doing this again? You're sending out this attack again. So for some of you, the reason why this keeps double, somebody has done this to you before. And I don't know if they're, if they're doing it again or they thought it was going to work if they paid somebody different to do it. I don't know, but it, it's this energy, though, of like your spiritual team just looking like, really, we're back at this again. It's like it's gotten old. I mean, once again, the Queen of Wands is here in the strength card and then the Queen of Wands in the, the strength card. But this could be a Leo, too, that has sent this attack out more than once. What I'm picking up from this now, somebody here was very, very confident, like in their magic. Whatever they sent out is actually going to attack them. Yeah. This was foolish. Whatever this person sent out, that somebody is very confident in their magic, in their ability to make something happen. And I feel like somebody went out with a plan and it got out of control. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody could have paid a lot of money to do this. Somebody paid money also to make a divine feminine not appear to be divine because they don't want this person to receive any more blessings or favor. And that's why this hierophant is just kind of like, even if there is nobody listening, there is nobody around like this queen of cups, divine feminine, who they are, it, it, it just speaks. It's so much protection around someone. Temperance, the king of swords. You got like God, Archangel Michael. They're like, no, this isn't happening. And then this sun card here, there's a masculine out here as well. So this could be a divine feminine and masculine who are going through a similar situation where someone is trying to attack these people. Either divine feminine or masculine has someone in their life or from their past that's attacking their love life. It's affecting the, the other counterpart. Either it's a mirroring effect because all these doubles are here, like what you're going through, someone that you're meant to connect with is going through the, the same thing or something very similar. Or someone out here is aware that two people are coming together and they're sending chaos, conflict and like death magic or something to both of these people. Whatever it is, though, somebody is very shocked that it's not working because they're doing this to like an earth angel, a high priest of the divine feminine or masculine. It's not working. Yeah, somebody here is doing moon magic. They're doing death and moon magic. Someone could have a Scorpio moon. Or someone has um, 
Pisces, Scorpio, Aries in their chart. I just heard too, somebody's just completely dead on the inside. So this person just keeps doing magic. This person, somebody here has already sold their soul. They, they're just addicted to doing magic. But whoever this queen of wands is, this person is, re yeah, I, yeah, like I said, somebody already sold their soul. They keep doing this magic, but it's not working. It's really not working. Somebody here has, is healed and going towards their wish fulfillment. The chariot is here again. Man, this, somebody has Cancer and Leo in their chart. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Scorpio. I don't even know anymore. Like, is this a person? And I keep saying that it's not just a person. These are like seriously entities and principalities. This energy is so obsessed. Like, it keeps doing the same thing. Yeah, look at that. King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. King of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. The Three of Cups is here, and then the Death card. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like the Ten of Swords being here with the Death card is still, it's Spirit saying once again that your, your tough times are coming to an end. Like you're going to have some type of personal freedom. Somebody definitely was playing around with some kind of death magic. Um, they sent this out and the three of cups is here with the nine of pentacles, the king of pentacles. We saw that queen of pentacles before this, this situation is going to backfire and it's actually going to put you in an even more favorable position than what you were in before. Somebody is trying to take something away from you and what's going to happen is you're going to receive <laughs> another blessing. There's a partnership, a contract for some, a love relationship. Something is coming in because it's like God has seen like you've been obedient. You stay at the courts here. Yeah, whatever somebody is trying to get away with doing to you, it's not going to work. The chariot is in the reverse. Someone is just going to have to give up. And if someone is trying to send out like a, a dark, yeah, the devil, somebody keeps trying to send out this really dark energy to you and it's cleared up every single time. The ace of swords, that's like air energy. Something here is like the wind. Every time they send it out, it gets wiped out. Yeah. The truth is, is that. Someone here is awakening now to wish fulfillment. Well, oh my gosh. Ten of Cups, the Empress, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is, is really after this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles person. Someone who's just very loving, nurturing, they're kind, they're giving, they're, full, they're awakened, they have this self-awareness. The Star card, like they're going towards wish fulfillment quickly. Somebody wants to trade places with this person because they're obsessed, the Nine of Cups. Someone is obsessed and they're upset because they're the Queen of Swords. Whoever this, this energy is that keeps attacking this Divine Feminine, this is a Queen of Swords in the reverse. This is someone very jealous, bitter, envious, angry. And this person is into spell work. This person keeps spiritually watching, hacking, and spying. This person does not want a Divine Masculine to be able to move forward. So, yeah, the two of swords in the reverse. Somebody wants a person to just be confused, not like forever stuck in limbo. But there's a high priestess here and a queen of wands. This queen of wands is somebody who is in the background. This queen of wands, queen of swords person, that's the same person. Whoever this karmic feminine is, they want a masculine to take their offer. And they're disappointed that their offer is not being accepted. Yeah, here's a king of swords in the reverse, which will match this queen of swords. There's a connection here that's over. And when this, this person keeps on attacking, here you have it, the king of wands and the queen of wands. 
this is some kind of weird past life connection. And somebody is refusing to let go. Because they're hoping that whatever they want to manifest will happen. This person is like up all night. They're losing control. Like somebody here has completely just lost control. And they're getting caught for creating all of these burdens for someone who just wants peace. This person is a stalker. And they're trying to, to be a third party or to create this situation for some of you, it's like you, you feel like there's a third party. There is not. Somebody just has an ex that won't give up. This person will not give up. They're very persistent and determined to make somebody take their offer. Someone here is competing because maybe this is someone's ex-spouse with the hierophant here and the lovers. Yeah, this dang Leo. I'm so tired. Of this. this queen of wands Leo person. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. This person will not give up. Somebody could be doing picture magic. And what did I say before about someone trying to get information? The three of pentacles is here and the two of wands and the four of swords. Somebody is, is working and collaborating and trying to like making phone calls, working with a team of people. They're trying to figure out how can they get to a divine femme. This person wants to know where you are, where you live. Somebody is researching someone. They're trying to go through public records and everything. This person is not well. Someone here is devastated because a connection is over. Ten of Pentacles, they no longer have a family. This person, someone here literally has lost their job, friends, family. They've done so much spell work and manipulation that everything in their life has just backfired. And each, whatever they're doing, it's just causing the wheel of fortune to constantly go in your favor. Someone is moving on to like a new beginning, a new job or something. Meanwhile, whoever this person is in the background, they're juggling. You see the Ten of Pentacles is here in the upright because I feel like someone here once had a long term commitment with someone. They could have even been married. With the magician, somebody is trying to manifest like happily ever after with somebody. This person is mentally unstable. The two of pentacles. And this person has lost a lot of money. This person is like just juggling everything. They don't know. This person is just overwhelmed. Because I feel like somebody is trying to force a person to commit to them. The eight of pentacles in the reverse. Like... This person can't focus on anything. I'm telling you, somebody here is so obsessed. This person has made themselves sick with watching someone move on. And they are definitely teaming up and collaborating. This person could be calling people who live at a distance to try to get information about someone that they were once married to or someone that may be interested in being in a committed relationship with you. This person is causing drama in the background because of a connection this person wants to hold somebody back so yeah they're just <sighs> just when does it end <laughs> this this person is is doing too much and this is the, this person comes out every few weeks like whoever this is they have to be some type of practitioner or they're a part of a coven or something. This is this energy. We pick up on this energy every time it's like a full moon. This person. Is this honestly different people doing this? Like, is this what covens do? Like every full moon, they just do love spells and, and death magic. I, I don't understand. It seems like the same storyline every full moon. Somebody is under the moon doing death magic. Because they want to get some man or woman to come back to them. Like whoever this practitioner is that keeps doing this work, they need to close up shop and find something else to do. Like, seriously. It's like, is, is this your specialty? Just um, break up spells? Send out send out a, an entity and send out chaos. Like somebody lights up the same candles every few weeks. Literally. 
But see, this person, whatever entity or dark force or whatever they're sending out, it's going to make this person have a fall from grace. Somebody is like delusional. This person, does they don't recognize who they are because whoever is doing this, they think that they have good reason to do it. Let's Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Let's see what that's about. This person is constantly jumping off the deep end, doing spells. Like, for what? What are you doing? King of Swords, Six of Wands. Somebody is speaking up. Somebody is speaking their mind. Good news is on the way. Like... I just saw justice. For some of you, if someone is bothering you, I feel like for some some people, this is going to turn into a situation where, look at this, 8-8. Eight, 8-8 eight. Eight, eight and 6-6. Six, six. Four of Wands and Six of Pentacles. 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Four of Wands. 8-8. Eight, eight. Seven of Wands, the Magician. So you're protected from any type of conflict, chaos, magic. Here's the Five of Wands. Okay. Well, I asked Spirit, what, what, what is this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands? They're justice. Something is about to be made fair. They're saying stand up for what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Some of you, it's time for you to go ahead and um, get like some type of protection or get the law involved. In this situation or that's what's going to happen but 666 here something is balancing out the six of cups the six of wands and the six of pentacles some type of good good karma effort good energy is you're about to get this back it's going to be reciprocated four of wands again your stability your overall peace contentment your home life Okay, your relationships. Seven of Wands, the Magician, and the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conflict, it's competition, it's chaos. But this conflict, competition, and chaos is coming because there's a magician in your energy. And once again, like the Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands is saying, stand up for yourself. But you're, you're very protected. So if you're struggling right now with any type of chaos magic being sent to you, it's just because somebody is constantly doing magic because they know with the three of, I'm sorry, I said the three, but here's the three of pentacles. Somebody knows that you're being recognized. You're being recognized in the spirit. And here in the 3D, you're being recognized as well. Some of you are about to go towards it's something in your life that you're going to be celebrating. Wow, look at that. The two of wands and the star. You're going towards your north node. You're going towards your the, the happiest season of your life. And this is long-term planning. Two of wands. It's like you've come into your own. You know who you are. And therefore, you have new partnerships and contracts. You're moving forward. Somebody is aware of the fact that they cannot stop or block you. They know that. Two of Wands, we had the star before, and now we have the sun. And then you have the sun and the moon. Some of you, you're going towards like a divine partnership. This is also just divine alignment within yourself. But for some of you, it's definitely a relationship. The Seven of Cups, it's not about to be the end of delays. Somebody really wants you to keep second guessing a connection. That's what this is all about. I'm going to be honest for you guys. A lot of you, this is about a connection. Somebody wants you to really be in your head nonstop. I'm getting where somebody is doing some type of chaos or conflict magic. They're sending this to your relationship. They're sending it so that your friends, family, lovers, or just everybody is cold towards you so that you will be in isolation. You're stuck, stagnant, and confused. Something isn't working as well as it was working before. So someone is trying to either double up on this magic or they're getting somebody else to assist them with it. I don't know, but 
it feels again every single time this is sent out it's being cleared out i'm like for me as a reader i'm picking up on it the love messages they keep getting stronger and stronger you guys are getting closer and closer to whoever this divine flame soulmate person is in your life if they're not already in your life you're getting closer and closer people keep sending this magic out because they want you confused this is a group effort too with the three of pentacles it's a group effort somebody needs like a if you know who this person is there should be like a restraining order this is someone's ex for some of you though it's a person that you don't even know but the two of wands the sun and the moon this also is saying that someone is finally making the decision to really heal. Yeah, look at that. The Dreamer card. It's a brand new beginning. You have three aces there. Somebody, they cannot stand this. This is some weird delusional person here. Queen of Swords who thinks that someone belongs to them. <laughs> this is literally somebody who's in the background and they think that a, a divine feminine or masculine belongs to them. I don't even think that this person knows you or whoever it is that they're trying to claim. For some of you, this person doesn't know you or your person. They just don't like you. For some of you, this is someone's like ex-lover or something. Ex-partner. But the person's obsession with a connection is, is serious. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Chariot. And the six of swords. So now we have six, 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 six. You have eight, eight, eight. Eighty-eight, sixty-six. The eight of swords. Somebody wants you to lose confidence about moving forward. But you've already worked very hard to have this justice in your life. So whatever work you've put into yourself your life your connections your finances you're about to reap all of the rewards and the benefits of it there's nothing that can stop it something is your success whatever you're destined it, it's 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 just it's not changing it's something here is destined it's very much faded it's not changing I don't care what these people do. This is not changing. This is all about an offer or an opportunity for your finances, for you to start a family, have a relationship, you to have some type of abundance. It's a, it's a promising offer, an opportunity, and you're moving forward. Archangel Metatron, this was already written. And because of your willpower you're getting closer and closer to it seven of pentacles yeah you've already planted good seeds seven of pentacles can sometimes though it seems like you need to take a step like you're taking a step back to look over everything to make sure because you want this to work out yeah the four of cups somebody wants you to feel like no you know you're just putting a bunch of work into that project or you know, you have hope for the future and no, you need to just give up. So right now you could be feeling all of a sudden like very bored, discontent, like you're missing an opportunity or whatever. This right here is a trick on your mind. The seven of swords. This is somebody trying to send you an illusion that you need to go in a different direction. No, nine of, of wands. Look at this. Nine of wands, ten of wands, freaking ten of pentacles. <laughs> and then the tower somebody just yeah somebody sees that you you made the right decision and they're trying to trick you that's it knight of cups queen of pentacles and the empress and then judgment yeah you have somebody coming in with a romantic offer somebody here is about to fall in love there could be a, a proposal of marriage um, somebody may invite you out somewhere. You're the queen of pentacles, but see, somebody knows that when this knight of cups comes towards you, that you're going to go from the queen of pentacles to the empress. And then look at the renewal card. These two people, it's like two people are standing, standing right in front of God. They're being judged. And this couple is receiving favor. It's like, God is like, yeah, I, I, I approve this. <laughs> so 
so there's no man, woman, child, or anybody else that's going to stop it. Y'all, I cannot. This is crazy. <laughs> the Ace of Wands just fell out and the Ace of Swords. What did I just say? Two of Pentacles. Somebody wants you juggling. Or they want another person around you juggling. Or they want you to think someone is juggling you. Here's the Ace of... Hold on. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Up there we have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, Spirit is saying here, keep dreaming. Keep manifesting with the Knight of Swords. Something here is happening quickly. Move forward. Somebody does not want you to release th this feeling of being heartbroken. You're not heartbroken anymore. You've already taken time out to heal. Release this situation. You've gone through an awakening and that whatever awakening you've had is telling you leave something behind. Close out this cycle for good. You've done an incredible job at whatever it is that you're doing. And now it's time for you to enjoy life with the nine of pentacles. Whether you're single or in a relationship, some of you, if you're single, you definitely have an amazing job opportunity or relationship coming or both. And somebody sees that you're moving forward. You're not looking back. I'm telling you, somebody is throwing some heavy heavy juju at you at this point it's nothing but aces out here the sun the empress some of you are definitely somebody out here could possibly be expecting or when you go into a certain connection that could be part of your contract the chariot though with the ace of pentacles the moon and the sun came out it's like the sun the sun the moon and the stars out here And somebody is trying so hard to make you close your eyes to, so that you won't see any possibilities. This could be someone who missed an opportunity with you or they missed an opportunity with the person that you're destined to connect with. But the nine of cups is here and judgment. Somebody has already made a decision. This decision has already been made honestly by, by God. Like God... And I've been saying this for a while. It's like your spiritual team and God, they've already, like God has already obviously chosen your person and your spiritual team, like they already got the message in the memo too. If anybody tries to come towards you that's not your person, they're getting booted out. Anybody sends any kind of magic towards you and they're not supposed to be with you, it's going back automatically. And somebody really just doesn't get that. Somebody keeps trying to, bend someone's will or, or like a faded situation and it's not happening like i don't understand there's a past life connection here with somebody <laughs> union coming together i what else is there to say wish fulfillment and this has somebody triggered they're overthinking and they're going into a dark night of the soul. A third party. Mercury retrograde is tearing somebody up right now. Mercury retrograde has somebody so triggered because someone here has received a sign that either you or someone that they let go of is about to either make an offer or receive an offer. Yeah. And the contract with this person is forbidden. Could be dealing with an earth sign. This is forbidden. You have new love here. That's it. It's a fresh start here. And remember I said something earlier about public workers. Somebody is trying to locate you. Somebody is trying to get your contact information. Somebody wants to know where is your mail going. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised for some of you. If somebody doesn't try to pop up at your home. Send you a card, a letter, flowers. Or somebody is about to really take a major step at trying to contact you or come around you it's because you have new love and this person knows that they are a false person they're a false twin flame this is not a divine connection it was simply someone in your life to teach you lessons you have somebody that is watching you. i said earlier somebody is really really watching your money and they don't like the fact that you have a fresh start. You have a fresh start. Your life partner is coming in. And this person knows that they're a karmic. 
they told you a bunch of lies and now they're going through an awakening and they want to cause conflict in your life. This person could also be trying to send you some type of dark, lustful energy. This is crazy. Y'all, it's Mercury retrograde. We have a lot of stuff, in, like five planets in retrograde right now. So whew, be careful.